Hi guys, today I have another topical video about the state of the meta in Warzone. I put a lot of effort into making these videos so a like and subscribe is much appreciated. With the most recent adjustments to the Bruin, the meta is back up in the air. I feel like the game is now at a point where you must pick different weapons for each situation. Gone are the days of the ground Bruin being able to laser beam people over 100 metres away with very little time to react. Snipers, although totally not out of these early metas, were kinda redundant due to the power of these two weapons. Pairing the Bruin or the Grawl with an MP5 was almost perfect for covering you in the majority of situations you would find yourself in Warzone. I think the meta is now in a state where you need to consider where you will be fighting. Anyone with some time playing Warzone in Season 5 has felt the power of the Origin Pelt shotgun. I don't remember a time in previous seasons I have played in where a gun so powerful can be found so regularly. The Origin can be found as a grey common, green uncommon and rare as the final reprieve blueprint. This makes any situation where you need to clear a small building much more risky. This may have indirectly changed the balance of perps for your first loadout. With so many Origins lying around, why would you bother taking overkill over Ghost? You can wave bye bye to your nice MP5 when your whole team gets melted by a maniac wielding an Origin 12 while trying to evict him from his favourite camping spot. With the extreme range of some assault rifles being tuned down, I think there is more room for snipers to come in and open parts of the map. Sure, you may take a few dings in your armour while you get a headshot to down someone, but this is fair trade and keeps things in balance. I am thinking that for this meta, you need something that can fill the short to medium range and either have an origin for clearing buildings or a sniper for distances greater than 80 metres where most assault rifles and LMGs have fallen off. I have had my eye on a few weapons which might be able to fill out these particular ranges. Finn This gun was very interesting on launch, a hybrid between assault rifle and LMG with very stable accuracy. By setting up with the advantage barrels, the accuracy is aided by a slower fire rate and faster bullet velocity to help you remain on target. The adverse barrels offer immense firepower but pay with much heavier recoil and slower bullet velocity. There are a few things that let this gun down. The first being it is a belt fed magazine with a slow reload time of 5.8 seconds. Considering that most assault rifles are reloaded in an average of 2.5 seconds, 5.8 seconds feels like a long time in a firefight. The next issue is that it has the same damage for headshots as chest shots. You might not think that this is a big deal, but in real world situations, even if aiming at the chest, a stray bullet that hits the head can mean a big deal. I wonder if they will address this in a later patch. Last point would be that with the adverse barrel, it can be powerful at close ranges, but as range creeps up, I think it's hard to remain on target while fully utilising the gun's rate of fire. Based on the problems mentioned before, the fin is not the meta pick for me. M4A1 Definitely one of the contenders for this meta and a personal favourite of mine. I have won countless games with my old trusty M4 fully loaded class setup after dropping in from a late gulag. Very much a jack of all trades, the classic M4 covers all bases but won't excel at anything in particular. With decent damage throughout all ranges and a fairly forgiving recoil pattern, never underestimate the M4. The Kilo There has been a lot of hype around this gun. It has had its place in the meta for sure and its stable accuracy cannot be ignored. The only problem I have is, I seem to get a lot of hit marks with this weapon and not as many downs as some of the other weapons in its class. If you enjoy it, use it, this could be the meta. PKM, a great weapon for range, probably the best long range LMG. It has great damage and a decent recoil pattern. The main thing holding this gun back is the massive 8.85 second reload time. I thought to myself, as long as I reload at the optimal time, it should be a great gun. When it comes to the final circle in closed spaces, you always run dry when you most need it. I have even tried running this with an MP7 as a secondary that isn't terrible at range, should I run dry in a tight situation, but I haven't been able to make this work yet. For this reason, the PKM is not the meta weapon. The Bruin We all loved the Bruin when it was strong. 
I honestly think this was more OP than the Growl when it was meta, offering more stable recoil and damage than the Growl at longer ranges, and could be very competitive in shorter ranges too. Sure it had a slower aim down sight time, but this never stopped the Bruin. Green nerfs recently have really taken their toll on the Bruin, firstly decreasing the damage to the upper torso, secondly increased recoil on the base weapon, and lastly increased recoil with the 60 round mags. I think using the default 100 round belt might remind you a little of the old Bruin accuracy wise, just don't expect this gun to be able to compete with the rest of the assault rifles at closer ranges anymore. This gun is strictly for greater than 50 meters only now. However, I don't even know if the accuracy with the 60 round magazine can hold up beyond this range. A few too many knocks to the Bruin and because of the reduced effectiveness at less than 50 meters, it won't be the mayor. The Grow It's still an okay gun and is pretty forgiving recoil wise. The damage at range has been shot to bits and was never really that competitive less than 50 meters before. It just doesn't have the pop or the accuracy it used to have in its glory days. But the way the meta is shifting, I don't think things will ever return to Grow Zone. The AMAX Now don't get me wrong, this gun is a bit of a melt machine. When the bullets land, people go down. Posting the fastest time of kill of all assault rifles with chest shots, the AMAX can definitely pack a punch. The gun has a few downsides for me. First, the recoil. While well, the pattern isn't bad being pretty much vertical, it does suffer a little bit in this department. It can be a bit jumpy, so picking out people who are on good cover at distances of 50 meters and above might be quite difficult. Secondly, the bullet velocity. It's quite a bit slower than a lot of the other guns in its class, at 959 meters per second, compared to the average of 1300 meters per second of most other assault rifles. This brings me to the final point, the rate of fire. The AMAX has a rate of fire of 630 rounds per minute. Comparing this to the previous meta weapons, all of them are at least 750 rounds per minute. This statistic is maybe not considered as much as others when looking at weapons. While not the slowest rate of fire, I think the combination of slow bullet velocity and slower rate of fire makes this gun harder to track. For these reasons, I don't think the AMAX will be the meta. The RAM In my opinion, this will become the meta. Offering great damage with a decent recoil pattern is a great start. If you are used to the M4, the RAM feels very similar, but packs more damage. Sure, you won't get away with holding the trigger without heavy recoil adjustments like you do with the Kilo or the Grow, but if you learn the pattern, you are definitely rewarded for it. It feels like something between an assault rifle and an SMG. Having the fastest ADS time of all the weapons mentioned above, without attack laser setup, the RAM is very snappy. 2.4 seconds reload time isn't bad either. It also has the best bullet velocity of all the weapons mentioned above, meaning tracking should be a lot easier at range. I have prepared some clips of the RAM in action at various ranges to show you how it performs. I am quite impressed by how quickly this gun can down people and have a feeling it will be the new meta weapon. I hope you enjoyed the video and I plan to have more videos coming very soon. Let's head for the safe zone. Enemy mark.
fine. I got Phoenix you. Three. Good shot. Enemy soldier incoming. Contact. this way. Relocating. Victory rests on your shoulders. 